For ACUSports.com, Grant Boone with senior point guard Jalen Franklin. His team tonight defeats Stephen F. Austin 72-58. to That sounds pretty good, doesn't sounds, it? Sounds great. Sounds Defeating great. Stephen F. Austin <laughs> anytime is good. But uh, J. Frank tonight against a team that broke your hearts in Nacogdoches on January the 23rd, they never led. You led wire to wire. How did your team do it? Um, just rebounding and defensively. I know they hurt us on the glass down there in Nacogdoches. Um, pretty bad. Harrison's did and um, Bose did it. But, I mean, that was the key point is just rebounding and guarding their stay sets. And we did that tonight and got the dub. You did get the dub in large part because of you and the other seniors. Yes, you right. nearly went for a triple-double. You had 16.7 rebounds and 10 assists. Let's see if Lance Fleming, our SAD, can find three rebounds <laughs> in that box score that maybe went to you instead and yeah. give you that triple-double. Yeah, right. um, but you tied a career high tonight with 10 assists. Uh, assists don't work unless the, the shots are made, right? I mean, yes, your, your, your teammates were, were, were helping you out, weren't they? Yes, sir. I, um, Peyton Ricks, um, Far Hayden Farquhar, I mean, all of my teammates, they uh, step up and make big shots like all the time, and I trust those guys. And I tell them, I'll say, if y'all wide open, shoot the ball, and they do. Well, you, you beat Stephen F. a couple of years ago, so it wasn't the first time you've beaten them. But uh, even though their, their season's not going the way uh, that, that, that they want it to go, uh, uh, what does a win over Stephen F. mean? It means a lot because they got great players. They got um, they got they got Harrison and they got Bowles. You know, yeah. they're two very good players and they top uh, not lead and lead scorer. You know, and uh, they're pretty hard to guard. And uh, we, we did our thing tonight. Can you believe you've got one game left at Moody? Yeah, it's gonna be emotional. Let's don't, <laughs> don't talk about it. Let's talk about it. Instead of. Whenever I start to get emotional, I bring in Coach Joe Golding. Let's just do that right now, and he'll he'll change he'll he'll change that uh, vibe right quick. Um, Coach, you you said when you lost to Stephen F. in January, it's a game you'll never forget. Since then, your team is eight and two, and tonight you punctuated. I don't know with an exclamation point or what <laughs> what punctuation mark you use, but tonight you win a big game over a, a team with some dangerous players. Yeah, a ton of respect for Stephen F. Austin. They obviously beat us at their place. It's a game that, again, you're right, I'll never forget, and I've never been in a situation like that, and you have to give them credit. They never quit. Uh, we didn't handle it well, but I think we, we handled it well after that game was over, and we were able to turn the page because we got great seniors and juniors in our locker room. And we got great leadership, so a um, ton of respect for Stephen F. Austin. Uh, they, they, um, they're extremely well coached. Uh, they've got three guys that can really, really score the basketball. The game never felt comfortable uh, the whole night. Um, you know, I just felt yeah. like we couldn't ever separate enough. Uh, and, and you just, you, you know, you got Bogues and Harris over there that any time, uh, you know, they can go boom, boom, boom. Uh, and it's a one possession game. So did a good job. We took care of the basketball. We shared the basketball. Seniors were good tonight. Um, juniors were good. I thought we got great play off the bench. Uh, Damian was great. Trey was good. Um, so, uh, you know, it's been us. That's who we are. You know, it's different guys stepping up each night. Your seniors go for 16, Jay Frank. 15 Farquhar off the bench and 13 for Louie. But Louie's 13 points, to me, weren't even the best part of his night. He had four blocks and a couple of steals and five rebounds. Yeah, that was really good on help, help side defense. He wasn't as good down there at their place of helping off the drives and getting there early. He was late a lot uh, when we played them in NAC. So he did a lot better job today of being early and being able to contest some shots at the rim. Um, and then offensively, uh, you know, we're, we're – we're, we're uh, tough to run two games tonight. You know, they took us out of some things. We're also running some different things that we haven't been running all year and just could never really get any rhythm uh, offensively. Uh, but we were able to score enough points. The one thing we're doing is guarding. Our guys are playing hard, man. They are they are playing stinking hard. Uh, and uh, I'm so proud of them for, for competing on both ends of the floor. It's a tough week. Three games in six days, two on the road. I know it was tough for Stephen Austin, too. Yeah, three sure. tough, tough road wins. Uh, I mean, three road games. Uh, road games. Um, you can saw guys competing tonight on the floor, uh, and we were just able to get enough stops there at the end well uh, they cut it to six at one yeah. point down 18 and you get a uh, a steal from louis scooped up by damian daniels yeah, was a big and he one. go he, he goes and gets an and one, one with his off hand yeah it was big and one you know and uh that was a, that, i thought that changed it. It nine, yeah, yeah yeah i thought that changed and gave us some momentum and um you know he did a really he did a good job we did a good job on the glass even playing with him we we're a little did. smaller Plus nine. yeah and we were able to win the rebound glass and i thought we got some big offensive rebounds especially in the first half and some extra opportunities so uh Overall, good game. Uh, we'll take it. You know, we'll uh, take the day off tomorrow, and then obviously we got a, we got a tough tough one coming up on Saturday. Tough one for a lot of reasons because you're playing a team that has nothing to lose, right? Uh, they can't make it to Katie, and there's going to be an emotional uh, vibe there with the senior day, and we've seen that go in some wild ways, haven't we? Yeah. First thing, I have a ton of respect for Incarnate Word. Our program has been where their program is right now. When we, when we had one or two conference wins, we've been there. I know how hard it is to continue to to motivate guys and continue to get guys to play hard, and they have done an incredible job. They have been in almost every game. Yeah. Uh, they're competing. They're playing Overtime at a high level. And I've got a ton of respect for their new coach and what he's doing there. 
and how they're playing. And obviously, they would like nothing more than to come here and win on senior night. Uh, on the flip side of that, we've got to do a good job of celebrating these seniors and uh, making sure we protect home floor. You know, the last time, and I don't know if it's the last time, we'll see what happens. Sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, they get an opportunity to play and they're going to get celebrated. You know, and I don't think these three are celebrated enough around here. They should be celebrated a lot more for what they've done for our program, uh, what they've done for me, what they've done for our staff, our university, our community. They're just three outstanding student athletes. They're what college basketball is all about. They're what student athletes are all about. They're what our university is all about. And we're going to celebrate them. We're going to celebrate them the right way. One more thing. Tonight, you set an all-time program record with 24 regular season wins. You were a student when Willard Tate was teaching life learning skills at Abilene yeah, Christian. Yeah. It's a class a lot of us took. Yeah. He was the head coach in 79-80. When they won 27 total games, they won four postseason games, 23 regular season. You got a shot to get to 27. Yeah, you know, obviously a ton of respect for Coach Tate. I got to know him through Copeland when I was assistant here. Him and Jason were really, really close. Uh, I've got a ton of respect for Coach Tate uh, and everything he meant to Abilene Christian basketball. Let me say this and reiterate, I've said it to you, it's not about me. This is about our players. I I'm still coaching the same I was coaching three years ago. Our players have just developed. They've grown up. Uh, they've matured. The university gave them a chance to do that, and we're paying the rewards for it, you know. Um, it, this is not about Joe Golding at all, man. This is about Jay Frank, Jaron, uh, Farquhar, these three seniors, their career, what they've been about. It's about juniors like Ricks and Trey uh, and all those guys. That, and then it's about a young freshman, you know, that here we go again. So, uh, you know, that, that's it. That's what this program's about. It's a culture that we've set. It's not about us, man. We're a family. We do this thing together. Uh, and so uh, players first program. Now, that don't mean we, we just we coach them up, you know, hard. But we love our players. We love on them hard. And uh, we're going to celebrate them on Saturday. You're not bad yourself. Yeah, whatever. I was a lot better player probably than I was coach. But. The Joe Golden quote of the year, whatever. <laughs> Wildcats win 72-58 over Stephen F. Austin, 24-6 and heading into senior day on Saturday with a chance to wrap up that number two seed in the conference tournament.